Welcome back, Timberland, to this month's newscast. I'm Brooke Benny. And I'm Kaylee Lineback. We hope you enjoyed this last newscast. Block scheduling will start next Monday for EOCs. Let's go to Nathan to learn more about it. Next year at Timberland, the schedule is going to look a little bit different. Planning began a few years ago to change things up for students. Next year, on Wednesday and Thursday, there will be block scheduling for den time and pack time. Yeah, modified block is put into place so that way we can make sure that students have all that they need to be successful. And so the point of it is, is to give them an extended period of time with their classes and to give them more intervention so that way they have all that they need. Den time is a one hour break in the middle of the day. It is a chance for students to unwind. Students have freedom to make their own choices according to the PowerPoint provided by Ms. Hain. One thing I want to accomplish is better grades and better grades on tests because I'll have more time to study. Pack time is an 86 minute block every Thursday designed to support learning and ensure academic equity. Students can receive academic interventions, makeup tests, quizzes, or other assignments and receive extra help according to the PowerPoint provided by Ms. Hain. Uh, I'm kind of worried because I've never done block scheduling, but I feel like it's going to be okay. Nature and science is so cool. I might go into it. Come on, Brooke. You don't even know how photosynthesis works. A girl can still be interested and learn, Kaylee. Let's take a look at this THS teacher, Dr. Bergman, with Kaylee. Hi, I'm Kaylee Lineback with WHTV. Dr. Bergman is a science teacher here at Timberland who teaches biochemistry, biology, and AP environmental science. Let's see what the students think about his credentials and what goes on in his classroom. When did I start teaching at Timberland? It was the fall of 2017. Favorite part about teaching at Timberland, we have a really a great culture here at this high school. We have you know, great faculty and staff, great students. Just, I just can't say enough about how, how, you know, what a great environment it is here and you know, how, how fun the students are and you know, the, the collegiality with, with other teachers and staff. And it's just, it's just a really good bunch of people. Dr. Bergman attended the University of Colorado Boulder. Dr. Bergman is also known for writing a book series known as The Feral World. I think he makes like science actual, like fun to learn, and I don't mind sitting through it. I would describe Dr. Bergman as smart, like uh, he knows a lot about a lot of stuff. Dr. Bergman says that a fun fact about himself is that wolves and dogs are his favorite animals. Um, I think that he really keeps us focused, but at the same time, we get to enjoy our class. It's not boring. Um, thank you for being my teacher and making that really fun. That was all for Dr. Bergman. If you're interested in taking one of his classes, contact your counselor for more information. This was Kaylee Lineback with WHTV. Back to the studio. Brooke, I don't want to sound too arrogant, but we have been serving this year. Yeah, but the boys' tennis team has been serving a lot of tennis balls, too. Aiden has the scoop. Devlin Tennis, as a 420, is 11 and 2, and according to Coach Livergood, they have a good chance of placing at state. Okay, I think my goals are to improve my tennis play, so I definitely want to continue to play tennis in Germany and just make new friends. Um, I never had the opportunity to join tennis in Germany, and I thought it was really cool that I have the opportunity to do it now, so I think that's the reason. Mm, probably the coaches, especially Mr. Bala. She's doing a great job and she tells you what you have to improve and yeah, she influences me the most. My season is going well. Um, we're playing well and hope we can ride out through the end. My favorite part is definitely just playing because I like to play the game and it's a lot of fun. Uh, the coaches, they're really good at, you know, inspiring you to be great. There are 17 boys on the team, with three being seniors. Coaching them is head coach, Coach Livergood. Goals for every season are to go to state. We want to win and have a good time at the same time. 
Uh, we have some challenging opponents this year in our district, uh, but we're hoping to come out strong. Uh, I have a passion for tennis. I enjoy playing the sport and I wanted to share that passion with others. They practice at their school at the tennis course at their Francis House Central Tournament. Dane Ives and Caden Blake took first place. For more information, go to THS Voice Tennis on Twitter. The school's robotics team won first place at the Heartland Regional in Oloth, Kansas. They played 19 matches, only lost twice, and won the Excellence in Engineering Award. They also won the St. Louis Regional, playing 18 matches, losing one, and the other being a tie. During their qualification matches, they maintained top three places during the whole thing. Because the team won both regionals, they were able to go to the World Championship in Houston last week. The 454 teams that attended were split into six divisions, Hopper, Carver, Turing, Newton, Galileo, and Roebling. They were put into the Hopper division and maintained top three during the whole thing, and then climbed to first place. They ended up winning the Hopper division and moved on to the Einstein Round Robin Tournament. Here, they didn't win, but the team got fifth place. While they got disqualified, the team won two regionals, the division at Worlds, and were one match away from being world champions. If you want more stats, you can find them here at thebluealliance.com or on their website at ratchetrockers.org. The championship after that. The score for the final match is 128 to 110. Ratchet Rockers, I hope you're going to pack your bags. 128-128. For the first time at THS, senior Keegan Austin is the solo expedition at Crossroads Off Arts Council here at Winsville. The opening reception will be Sunday, May 1st from 2 to 4. Show your support by attending and receive free food. Kingan is the one responsible for all of the rubber band sculptures on the second floor display case. So take a look. We sure have had a lot of fun times doing this. Lots of memories. Brooke, you're making me sad. I'm going to miss you. Same here. I think all the seniors are looking back at their best memories while at school. Sam's man on the street tells us all about them. Good morning, Timberland. I am Sam Kirby. Let's take a trip down memory lane and see what our seniors' favorite high school memories are. My favorite high school memory was when Emily Wing won Homecoming Queen. That was just, I think that was the best thing that happened to this school. My favorite high school just memory is just running track for four years. The people I've met and just going to all these meets and getting medals, it was a great time. My favorite high school memory was just being in Mr. Winkleman's classroom, uh, junior year, just a fun class. He's probably my favorite teacher. My favorite high school memory is the overall experience of being in marching band. Uh, my favorite memory would definitely be all of the different marching band competitions. Winning first place at the CSPA championships. My favorite high school memory is going to the football games with all my friends, but especially when it rains. Winning state with the varsity cheer team. My favorite high school memory is homecoming 2021. My favorite high school memory is probably winning grand champions at the Fort Sumont North River City Showcase. Hanging out with everybody and the choir. Probably in junior year getting to break dance for uh, my classmates. My favorite memory is breaking my clarinet at that band. And my favorite memories were after each performance of theater, we'd have a cast party, and they were pretty fun, and yeah. I'd say my favorite high school memory would be anything with my cross country or track team. In a survey that was sent out, six people said their favorite high school memories were about in-class experiences with their teachers or within their classes. Meanwhile, I'm not a senior, but my favorite high school memory so far has been homecoming 2021, now back to the studio. Au revoir, seniors. You will be missed, but my senior class will dominate next year. Now, Kaylee, that's not the proper goodbye. Uh, you're right. Let's go to your story about the seniors leaving. Before seniors graduate on June 5th, some teachers and staff members have a message to give them. I am going to miss their faces in the hallways and their personalities, their, their uh, smiles and perseverance their hard work, their dedication. I wish you all the best and success. Everything, I mean, their presence here is really great. Uh, I think this, this class offered a lot of leadership. Um, they're one of the first classes that had a big impact on me at Timberland because I was their, their government teacher uh, last year for a lot of them. So I got really close with a lot of them. So the relationships in general, 
I am going to miss the seniors and all of their fun energy and the school spirit that they bring to Timberland. They have really made me feel welcome here. I am going to miss the very unique perspectives that the class of 2022 have brought to Timberland High School. Oh wow, this crew has been one of the hardest working crews I have had in a long time. And that's not dissing any of the classes, but man, I'm telling you, uh, you guys work. That's all I understood. I, I really enjoyed uh, all my classes this year and uh, I'm gonna miss you. Seniors and, and just they had a lot of great spirit or have a lot of great spirit and energy and um, you know just uh, a lot of real nice um, kind people so I will miss them. Seniors my advice is to travel and take those chances take those opportunities don't give up and stay strong. We're only young ones so enjoy it like travel see the world have fun you have the rest of your life to adult and adulting is not that exciting uh keep going no matter what you're going to do just keep going whether that's education or military tech school getting a job uh this is not the end it's just the beginning so you know there's a lot more to life than what you have right now my advice for seniors is to put yourself out there and just go for it. Don't be afraid to do new things and try new things and talk to new people. Um, really challenge yourself and don't play it safe. That's when you learn the most. Sometimes it can seem overwhelming to have all of the new life uh, challenges thrown at you, but just take it one day at a time. Guys, college is hard. Study. You're only going to be in class 15 hours a week. You're expected to study 30 hours a week. I'm gonna miss you guys and I, miss, I wish you all the best of luck. I hope you all are successful human beings. I hope some of you come back and visit us. Let us know how you're doing. Seniors will be graduating at the Family Arena in St. Charles and teachers and staff members have the option to attend and see them step off into their future. Now that we've heard from teachers, let's hear the seniors say goodbye. Seniors have 12 days of school left, but before they exit high school forever, here are some of their final remarks. The most important thing I've learned since freshman high school is that it's okay to be unique and that the most fun you'll have is with other people who are unique. Just being yourself and not really caring what other people think, I think it's important. And these times are really crucial to sort of figuring out and realizing who you are as a person. Not everything matters as much as you think it does. You know, the friends you have aren't always going to be your friends and that's okay. And you're just gonna live your life and move on and things change and that's fine. Just deal with it, go. I'm gonna miss all the time that I get to spend with my friends and then just like the fun things that happen at school and being a part of student council. Mr. Spack's joke of the day, most. Definitely my teachers, cause I know I can always see my friends, you know, outside of school, but with your teachers, like you're never gonna get to be in their classroom again and I'm really gonna miss that. AP Psychology. I will probably miss staying after school for tennis and ping pong club. I'll definitely miss all of the things you do here, like going to the football games and stuff like that, and I'll miss my friends here. I'm looking forward to leaving this town, and I plan on going to University of Tennessee and um, living my life there. Just like being on my own, being independent, not having teachers telling me what to do. Uh, going to college, I plan on majoring in poli-sci at Mizzou and then going on to law school and becoming a criminal justice lawyer. Direct entry into nursing school, so to become a nurse, and it's just always been what I've wanted to do, so. I can't wait to start a brand new life, because um, we got to at some point, right? <laughs> My last remarks, good riddance. The teachers here are awesome and be nice to everyone. I had a fun time here. Um, despite like everything that's happened with like COVID and stuff, I feel like my high school experience has been a positive. It's a great day to be a wolf. It's been real, but it has not been fun. Oh, ka -chow! The future depends on you. Bye. Enjoy it while you can, because it will end sooner than you think. See ya. Um. Yeah, thank you, Timberland High School. This has been a great four years and I am very sad to leave, but thank you.
While some seniors have the chance to say goodbye to the school, they still have to say goodbye to one another. They will have the chance to say their final goodbyes at the grad party after graduation from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. at Kokomo Joe's. I'm Brooke Benny, signing off. It's been a good run, but all good things must come to an end. Keep staying classy, Timberland, and for the last time, have, have a great, great day. day. Let's redo that. I said I was just saying it for next Monday. Yeah, that's also my part. Yeah, that's all your part. Because <laughs> I'm better than you. <laughs> Get it together. Come on. Get it together. It's like our whole dynamic. <laughs> Get it together. That's like what we You should be used to being wrong right now. I'm just confident. <laughs> Well, I'm not the only one with this opinion. Kaylee has more news with the man on the street. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so oh, oh. Okay, go back down. We, oh, go a little up. Well, it's well, not. It's, oh, it's well, not. Well, it's not. Summer, we have to see it. Okay, there you go. Yeah, it's an after school club here at Timberland. <laughs> Don't talk. <laughs> Can you just go back up? Yeah. Yeah! I said, yeah! <laughs> I thought you were done talking. I was like, I've heard of it. Blooper <laughs> real. No. That was all for this month's newscast. I just threw <laughs> Make sure to stay updated on your email. I'm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <it's laughs> <kind of. laughs> I'm. 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 I'm.